Due to the advancements of technology, the widespread use of mobile health applications has increased dramatically over the past few years. The ability to access health information when and where you want is what makes these apps so appealing. As of August 2012, there are more than 13,000 health and fitness apps available via iTunes. With a variety of health apps available, it is difficult for the consumer to find one that is specifically tailored to them. How can we use technology to channel our options into a custom-made plan for each individual? The answer is simple, the Ultimate Health app. And the FDA predicts 500 million smartphone users worldwide will be using some type of health app in the next two years. So how do you do that? Joining me now, Dr. Steve Reisman, director of the New York Cardiac Diagnostic Center, Center that is. Dr. Reisman, thanks for coming on. Thank you. Uh, I was shocked, but you said you really like some of these. You think some of these apps really make sense to use. Tell me about that. I was surprised. Well, one of the apps is for an ECG or an electrocardiogram. Let me give you a typical patient example. Patient has palpitations, rapid heart rate, heart rate, it only lasts for one or two minutes at a time, occurs once every week. How do you check that out? One of the ways is to put a 24-hour monitor on. If, if it doesn't catch it, you miss it. If they have a little app and a little device with their smartphone, they could put that on right away, put their two fingers on it, and check their EKG and see if they have a dangerous heartbeat or arrhythmia. So it works? I think it works. I think there's a good future potential for it. I don't think it's quite there yet. That's amazing. Doctors acknowledge that mHealth is in its infancy and that there is potential for better communication and use towards successful patient care. Uses in the diagnostic and rehabilitation setting include monitoring a patient's EKG, blood pressure, glucose levels, sleep patterns, nutrition status, and oxygen levels. Providing all of these tools within a single application will allow for a more comprehensive relationship between the doctor and the patient. Over the years, the phone has developed in such a way as to promote the use of self-improving applications. With an increasing concern for wellness, applications have been developed towards improving current health conditions in the United States. We chose to interview a computer programmer to get a better understanding into the development of mobile applications. All right, hello, my name is Jake Muir. Um, I'm a computer science student here at Cal Poly. Um, I did my undergrad here, uh, and I'm currently a master's student. I've had internships at Apple and Amazon, and I'm currently um, going to be a full-time employee uh, at Microsoft starting in the summer. Yeah, so there are several steps, um, or I guess like stages of the process to get your app off the ground. Um, the first one is you need to determine like which app store you guys want to use, um, which it could be like any, it, like it can be multiple or it can just be one. Next, you need to hire some, some programmers. Um, my recommendation would be software engineers, uh, just because software engineers go into a lot of um, design work in terms of like the what we call the software development lifecycle, um, and so like they do a lot of study typically on how do you go from you know an idea that a customer has to deployment and to actually like, maintenance of that software. Um, and so like the, the typical stages for that are going to be like requirements, uh, design and architecture, uh, testing, and then deployment and maintenance. Um, so those are the four main stages. So like after you would hire like a programmer, those are the stages that that programmer would go through in order to complete this app. In America, over 69% of adults are overweight or obese. The problem we currently face starts with the relationship between increased technology and its effect on sedentary lifestyle. The annual cost of being overweight is $19 per pound of extra weight gained. Americans spend $3.7 trillion a year on health care. Time and resources are often spent on trying to treat the problem instead of preventing it. Because of this, an emphasis must shift to primary prevention if we are to address the obesity epidemic. Today, 44 million Americans are uninsured and 38 million have inadequate coverage. Without health insurance, individuals often go without immunizations, checkups, and medications. They become more susceptible to health crises and are more likely to incur large bills. If we focus on preventing disease and investing in our public health systems, we can take care of all the members in society, making sure that each one of them lives a healthy life, not just the insured. 
The Ultimate Health app combines physical fitness, rehabilitation, nutritional counseling, psychological health, and social media to help with all the dimensions of health and fitness. Thank you.